What's up YouTube? Today I'm going to be unboxing the newer NWA72 which is a grip for the Sony A72 series. This includes the A7R2, A72 and of course the brand new or brand new for me A7S2. Let's unbox it and have a look at what's inside. So the box itself clearly shows what's inside the box including where it goes on the camera. Some of the interesting uh, instructions on the side is actually quite useful information provided that you have absolutely no common sense at all. Moving along inside the box here, we're gonna just pop this open. So inside here, I'll just put the grip off to the side for a sec. There's nothing else inside besides the uh, desiccant uh, thing which absorbs moisture. Uh, you get a manual uh, and the manual itself is pretty basic. There's actually quite a few pictures here that kind of goes through everything. Not a lot of words which sometimes can be uh, misinterpreted. So the diagrams are actually quite nice to see if you do or haven't had any experience with this type of product. It's actually quite simple to put together. The other thing inside the box is of course, you guessed it, the grip itself. Now I don't have any experience with the uh, official Sony grip, but I do know that that grip in Canada is about $300 to $400, which is way too much. This was available on Amazon for $100 or less, depending on where you got it from. Uh, I think I paid about uh, $89 plus taxes, so it wasn't too bad at all. Uh, as far as functionality and solidity, uh, it's actually very solid. Uh, there's no twisting pressure or anything like that. Uh, looks very similar to the original Sony grip itself, so uh, I'm not too worried about functionality. Niwar seems to be a very good company in terms of being able to develop a product that's uh, fairly inexpensive uh, compared to its original. Uh, you'll notice on the back here, you've got your on off switch. Um, it's recommended that you keep it off if you're not using it because uh, in Grips like this, they tend to use just a little bit of power. There's also the AF and uh, manual focus button. Uh, there's a function button that corresponds to the same one on your camera body. Uh, there's your two dials, front and back. You also get two more function buttons on the top. So if you've mapped these to record and whatnot, you can definitely do that. Although stay away from vertical video syndrome. You don't want to record video in this format. I will not allow it. Of course, there's a shutter button on the top here and it actually feels pretty good. You get the half shutter press and then you get the full press as well too. So it seems like there's two stages in here as well too. Uh, it's also uh, somewhat of a machined aluminum look to it. Uh, in the battery that sits inside your Sony, you get the flap placement for the original flap when you want to use this and all the connections look like they are plated in gold. Um, there's no bends or anything like that. They seem like they're very straight and good quality. On the side here, the door, pulls the caddy out. So this is something that we're used to with a lot of different grips. Uh, and inside you also see compartment one and compartment two, which should correspond to uh, the indicators inside your camera when you uh, look at which battery is running down. This might be the only weakest part of it because I can see it's a, it's a little bit flimsy, but I think that uh, because they had to keep it thin, that's the reason why it's flimsy. But you know, again, once you get everything inside and buttoned up, it's not going anywhere and it's gonna be fairly sturdy. There's a dial here that mounts right onto your, your A7S2, A7R2 body. And on the bottom there, there is a screw mount for your tripod plates, uh, be it the Manfrotto video plates or um, the more common uh, camera uh, photography plates as well too. It's all rubberized on the bottom, so there's very little chance of slipping unless you're pushing it all the way so it will sit still. Let's uh, have a look at it when it goes onto the camera now. All right, so here's my A7S2 uh, camera body with a lens on it, a Canon lens. Uh, I'm just gonna pop the cover off on the bottom here and pull out the original battery, like so. Uh, I'm also gonna pop the original cover off here carefully. And keep in mind, you don't just tear these off. There's actually a little bit of a lock on here that'll allow you to, uh, if you look in the compartment here, you have to swing it forward for it to release. So there's a little arrow if you can see here. You just need to swing it forward and when you lock it back in place, you just swing that thing back in place. It is spring loaded so you need to watch out for that as well too. So in case you're new to Sony bodies, this is the first thing I noticed. I looked at it and I'm like, you know what? There's no way for me to pull this straight out. So make sure you're not breaking battery doors by not looking at the instructions. And of course, this piece right here goes right into piece right here and it even locks in place because once you put the, uh, once you use the lock here, it doesn't go anywhere after that. So it's, it is secured. So I'm gonna bolt this to the bottom of my camera. And you know, it, it seems to, to fit pretty well overall. 
But as I mentioned earlier, again, it looks a little bit different, like the fit and finish is, um, it, it's fine, but it doesn't look exactly like the camera. It's like it's using a completely different type of rubber and the texture on the plastic is actually a little bit different as well too. So, uh, you know, like it's not a 100% a cosmetic fit, but again, you're not paying four hundred dollars, three to four hundred dollars for this thing. You're paying less than a hundred dollars for this, and the functionality is all there. So uh, a lot of the times, uh, when I'm considering buying grips, unless the, the 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 grip is actually a reasonable price, I'll go with an aftermarket one, and most of the time it works just fine. If you drop this grip on the ground, it takes the brunt of the impact. Well, you're only paying a hundred dollars. You're not paying three to four hundred dollars. So now we're gonna go over how the batteries go inside here. So I'm gonna pop this open right here. Pull out the entire caddy, put my camera body down just for a sec, and then I'm going to take two batteries here, and I'm going to start with battery compartment number one. And for me, uh, this entire compartment situation here, uh, it looks like it's a flimsy piece, and I do know that there's some reviews out there where people are struggling with putting these into these types of compartments and they're worried about breaking it. Well, just use a little bit of common sense. You're not putting it straight in this way because there's hook tabs over in the back here. You need to put this tail side down before you put the contacts down. See, that's so easy. I don't know why people are um, complaining about that. That's, there's no resistance. I can even do it with my eyes closed. Push back, push down. The other piece here just goes the other direction and this is for battery number two. So that just slides straight in this way, okay? So that's in there. Uh, now keep in mind, this might fall out if it's in the battery caddy without being in place. But once you secure it in the uh, grip itself, down here, it shouldn't go anywhere. Now you're good to go. Now let's power on the camera and see what it thinks of the two batteries inside. And you can see at the top here, it recognizes both batteries. Battery one and battery two are now at 100%. You're getting the indication, exactly like the original uh, battery grip, of where, uh, which each battery is at. Functionality wise, uh, it makes the, the camera, even though it's really small, it makes it much more uh, comfortable in your in your hand. No complaints here. I'm, I'm looking forward to actually using this on production jobs. Um, oh, we should also test out the shutter button to make sure it works. So I'm gonna switch it on here. It takes pictures, no problem. See, uh, my function buttons, my AF and uh, manual focus buttons do do work properly. I've remapped them to different things, so they're doing what they're supposed to do. So uh, I won't touch on those too much because they'll be different for, for some people. Everything seems to be working. Uh, even my dials work properly, no problem. I can uh, change the f-stop, I can change the shutter speed, no problem. Everything's working okay. So everything is good to go right there. So fully functional grip for less than a third to a quarter of the price of the original Sony one and it makes your camera body that much more functional. It's way more comfortable than it was before. Uh, makes it look a little bit more professional, but you know, again, it's all in the results that you have and it's all in the functionality. So this is the Niwer NWA72 battery grip, uh, which I purchased on Amazon. Uh, it's really um, just exactly what I needed for this camera because uh, quite frankly there's a reason why they put two batteries in the box and because and that's because the video uh, performance uh, on the battery side is actually quite stinky. Uh, if you like this video make sure you like and if you have any questions on it I'll try my best to answer it. I don't know everything but I'll answer the questions that I have answers to and I'll also pop a link to this particular product in the product in the uh, video description for you so that you can also find the same one that I have uh, on my A7S Sony body. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again in the next video. Take care.